a slope intercept form. So now I am taking the same topic continue straight line and now form is slope intercept form. Whenever slope is given and intercept on y axis is given then we have to use this form to form the equation. Now what do you mean by y intercept? If a line cuts the y axis at the point say B then distance from the origin to this point of intersection this is known as y intercept. I have given the name is small c. So y intercept length of this y intercept is small c and suppose this angle line makes the positive direction with x axis theta angle then slope is tan theta so value of m m and c are given then we have to find out the equation of a line so equation of line suppose we will take a general point on this line say x comma y then you already know this distance that is from point to the x axis is y and this distance is x. So this will be say this point is m point p. So this distance is that is x. This angle is theta. So this angle is also theta. So now what is the value of tan theta that is m. You can find from the triangle p b m tan theta is perpendicular upon base. So value of pm, pm is this value. So total length from this to this is y and this length is given to you c. So length of this portion is y minus c. Substitute the value here y minus c and pm this value is x. So m is equal to y minus c upon x. So m into x is equal to y minus c. So y is equal to mx plus c that is known as slope intercept form. M is the slope and C is the intercept on y axis. Now I will tell you about the different cases of this. First case you can see from this graph here value of M is positive and C is also positive. Second case, now in this case M is negative but C is positive, positive direction of y axis. Another case when line is like this way and this is the length of C, here M is negative and C is also negative. Next case, here M is positive but C is negative. So according to the sign of M and C, we can decide which type line you are getting. So it is clear. Now I am telling you the next form. So intercept form is We have to find out the equation of this line which makes the intercept on x axis length of OA and on y axis length of OB. Say length of OA is small a, length of OB is small b. Take a point P on this equation. Suppose this is a general point on the line xy then distance this will be y and this distance will be x. If I will join OP then you can see from this diagram area of triangle OAB is equal to area of triangle OPA 
and area of triangle OPB. Now, what is the area of triangle OAB? This triangle. So, you can say this angle is 90 degree. So, half base into altitude. Now, area of triangle OPA, this triangle. Now, this is the base, altitude is perpendicular. So, half base into altitude. Area of triangle OPB. Now, so base is B and altitude is X. Half we can take common and cancel. You will get AB is equal to AY plus BX. Now, divide by AB. So, it becomes AY upon AB plus BX upon AB. So, this B cancel, this A cancel. So, you can say X upon A plus Y upon B is equal to 1. This form is known as intercept form. Where A and B, A is known as the X intercept, B is known as the Y intercept. If length of intercept on the axis are given, then we have to use intercept form. Now you can see here length of intercept both are positive. Now if the line is this type then this value will be negative and y intercept b is positive if line is this type then a will be positive and b will be negative if line is this type this length is a this length is b both are negative so it is clear from this diagram when you have to take the intercept positive or negative. One more thing, if your line passing through the horizon, say this is the line. Now here both intercepts A and B both are zeros. Okay, it will now make any intercept. Here we can't use this form. We have to use another form here. That form I told you before just that. The form is slope intercept form. This form we have to use when the line passing through the horizon. So in that case value of C will be 0. So Y will be equal to MX. This form we have to use whenever line passing through the origin. Okay. Now, depends on the M. If acute angle, then M is positive. Obtuse angle, M is negative. Now, if line is equally inclined with the axis, means this angle and this angle are same, then you can say each angle will be 45. So, 10, 45 is 1. So, equation of this line is Y is equal to X. Now, one more line. See here in this diagram. This is the line passing through the horizon and here angle will be say this one. This line is also equally inclined with the x axis and y axis. Both angles are equal. So now with the positive direction of x axis it makes the angle 135 degree. So in that case slope will be 10 135. So, M is minus 1. So, equation of this line is Y is equal to minus X. So, whenever line is given equally inclined to the axis, then always we have to take slope as a plus minus 1. Remember this. Whenever this is given that line is equally inclined to the axis, so always take value of M as a plus minus 1. If line passing through the horizon, then always be a constant term will be 0. That is, intercept made by the line will be 0. So, normal form we have to use whenever the distance from the horizon to the line. C 
say this is the distance of the origin from the line say P. We have to find out the equation of the line take a general point on this line say this is the point or anywhere we can take a point no problem ok now O this point say A this point say B now this is the perpendicular now see the triangle O A P and this angle is alpha two things are given here one is the distance from the origin to the line that is P and this perpendicular makes the angle alpha with the positive direction of x axis. So alpha is the angle which makes the perpendicular with the x axis and theta is the angle which makes the line with the positive direction of x axis. So it should be clear what is the difference between theta and alpha. Alpha means the perpendicular makes the angle with the positive direction of x axis. So value of alpha lies between 0 and 2 pi and p is always be positive. Now if these two things are given then find out the equation of a line. First thing see the triangle O we are giving some name to this point says D triangle OAD. So value of cos alpha is base upon hypotenuse. So value of OA is P upon cos alpha. This length you got. Same way now use triangle ODB. So value of sin. If this angle is alpha, this angle becomes 90 minus alpha. This is 90 minus alpha, this is 90, so this angle becomes again alpha. So sin alpha is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So you will get the value of OB is P upon sin alpha. If you use intercept form X upon OA plus Y upon OB is equal to 1. Put the value of OA and OB here. So value of OA is P upon cos alpha Y. OB is P upon sin alpha. So now we can see from here X cos alpha plus Y sin alpha is equal to P. That is the equation in normal form. So whenever alpha and P is given then we have to use this form to find the equation of a straight line x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p. Value of alpha varies from 0 to 2 pi, p you have to take always be positive. Now see in different cases value of alpha. Suppose line is this, this is the perpendicular, then this is the angle alpha. Now say this x and y axis. Suppose line is this, this is the perpendicular, then this angle will be the alpha. So it depends which type line you are taking. According to that, we have to take the value of alpha. This angle is perpendicular then angle will be start from x axis till this one. That is the value of alpha. So you can take in different cases the value of alpha. If you are measuring this angle clockwise direction then this angle becomes this one is negative angle also minus alpha you can say if you are taking the positive angle then the anti clockwise direction negative angle then clockwise direction so 
2 pi minus alpha also you can say. So now this is the normal form. Next form, this is very important form, parametric form. One more name of this form is distance form also we call Ekor Naam Aiska that is known as symmetric form. Parametric form, distance form or symmetric form. You already know y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. This form is known as slope point form. First form I told you this one and you know that m is equal to tan theta. If tan theta I will split as a sin theta upon cos theta. Sin theta transfer to the left hand side. So y minus y1 upon sin theta it becomes x minus x1 upon cos theta. This form is known as symmetric form distance form or parametric form. Now this form we have to use whenever a theta angle which line makes with the positive direction of x axis is given and a point through which line passes is given. So whenever a point and angle is given we can find the equation of a line. The most important thing of this is we can find on the same line another point whose fixed distance is given to you. Suppose they have given that at a distance r, this distance r is given, say coordinate this point is p x1 y1, we have to find another point on the same line from the p point whose distance is r we have to find out the coordinates of the point A. Then we have to use this on the same line. So say coordinates of the point A is x comma y. This is a general point anywhere you can take on the line and this distance is r is given. We have to equate this equal to r. Then coordinate of x is x1 plus r cos theta. And coordinate of y is y1 plus r sin theta. That is the coordinates of the point A. Now we want to find another point on the same line at a distance r from P. Say this is a distance r, this is another point B. Then we have to take negative r. Here if you are taking the point above the P, take positive r and below the p then negative r. So r becomes negative x1 minus r cos theta y1 minus r sin theta. Another point on the same line whose distance is r. If we combine these two results we can write like this way x1 plus minus r cos theta y1 plus minus r sin theta so this is the formula we will use to find the another points on the same line at a distance r. So point is given, distance is given, then we can find the coordinates of the points A and B with the help of this. This is very important formula. Now I will take the examples based on this result. I am taking the example based on symmetric form or you can say distance form or parametric form. Now first example is find the distance of the point whose coordinates are 2, 3 from the line 3x plus 2y is equal to 17 measured parallel to the line x1 
x plus y is equal to 4 x plus y is equal to 4. Now, first of all, you should understand the question. What is the question is saying? Point is given here 2 comma 3 and a line is given 3x plus 2y is equal to 17. We have to find the distance of this point from this line. If the question asks perpendicular distance, we can find directly, we already know the formula. But here condition is given. The distance should be parallel to this line. It means if the line is, I am drawing the rough diagram, 3x plus 2y is equal to 17. Another line say x plus y is equal to 4 and point is given somewhere say here suppose 2, 3. Okay. Isko thoda sa mein aur tilt kar deta hu. Then it will be more clear to you. Now, we have to find the distance from this point to this line but not perpendicular distance, not this one. We have to find out the distance which is parallel to this line. It means you have to draw a line parallel to the given line and which will intersect this line to the given line at say PQ. We have to find out the PQ distance. Okay. So here this line, here PQ line, which is line ke parallel. Hai. Is ka slope or is ka slope same hoga? Is line ka slope kya hai? Slope bata sakte hai? Kya hoga is ka slope? Minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of y minus 1. Now, this line and this line are parallel. So, slope of this line is also minus 1 and passing to the point 2, 3. So, equation of this line is y minus y1. Slope of the line will be same minus 1 into x minus x1. Simplify this y minus 3 is equal to minus x plus 2 or you can say x plus y is equal to 5. Say this is equation number 2 and this is equation number 1. After solving these two equations 3x plus 2y is equal to 17. You will get the coordinates of the point Q that is the intersection point. Then with the help of distance formula we will find the distance between P and Q. See here how to solve these two equations. Multiply the first equation by 2. It becomes 10 subtracted. This will be cancelled. So value of x is 7. Put the value of x is in the equation number 2. So value of y is 5 minus 7. So now coordinates of the point Q you got 7 minus 2. Coordinates of the point P already you know 2 comma 3. Now distance you can find with the help of distance formula 7 minus 2 whole square plus minus 2 minus 3 whole square square root of this. For 7 minus 2 5 square is 25 and this is also 5 minus 5 whole square is again positive 25. So distance will be get root 50 or you can say 5 root 2 units. That is the length of this point from this line if the length is measured parallel to the given line. The distance is parallel to this. So this type questions you are able to do.